Welcome back. The Traffic Department of the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force has issued a warning to motorists whose vehicle registration plates are not in compliance with the law and that have 24 hours to have them corrected. Sergeant Henry Providence of the Traffic Department said that the department has observed where some motorists are putting number plates on dashboards. Others are writing on the number plates as well as using italics on the number plates. Sergeant Providence said that the department wants to deal with this early this year. According to NBC News, the sergeant said that the motorist has only 24 hours to have the plates corrected. And on vehicle safety and road safety, Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez last week had issued an advice asking persons to be careful on the roads. The Prime Minister addressing the nation advised persons not to use their vehicles as weapons. And one bit of advice, please be careful on the roads. Be considerate to all road users. But do not allow the motor vehicle to become a dangerous weapon to injure, to maim, or to kill. The preliminary inquiry on the November 13, 2015 murder of real estate agent Charlene Graves continues on Tuesday, January 17, at the Serious Offences Court. Some 40 witnesses are set to testify as deportee Veron Primus tries to convince Chief Magistrate Roshan Brown Matthias that investigators have not gathered enough evidence trying him to Graves' murder. Primus, who is representing himself, is accused of stabbing Graves to death at her office in Annosville. So far, eight persons have already testified according to the Searchlight newspaper. In other news, the Registrar of the Psychiatry at the Mental Health Rehabilitation Center believes that an age of consent for boys should be introduced into St. Vincent and the Grenadines law books. According to the Searchlight newspaper, Karen Providence in the pointed out that current laws are more protective of young girls than of young boys, even though early sexual activity in young boys can have the same negative effect effects on young boys as they do on girls. In other news, the traffic branch of the local police station has expressed its concern about the wearing of seatbelts among motorists here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The department said this year that plans will be implemented to enforce traffic laws for persons who do not comply with the traffic laws stipulated by the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force. The seatbelt serves to protect drivers and passengers from injury during any type of collision. The goal of the belt is to secure a person to a moving object and, according to the police report, it was often used for firemen and painters to provide an extra level of protection. Community Bible Study International, commonly referred to as CBSI, a non-denominational Bible program, will be resuming here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines from January 16, 2017 at the Grammar School Board Building every Monday from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. CBSI has been in St. Vincent and the Grenadines now since 2011 and hundreds of lives have been directly impacted as a result of the Bible study. The Bible study is open to everyone regardless of age or knowledge of the Bible and is completely free of cost. JSR Communications, a relatively new business entity that offers affordable individual and business support as well as online marketing, will be hosting an all-local gospel concert in SVG dubbed Arise SVG. Arise is scheduled for January 28, 2017 at the Annisville Sporting Complex, Hardcourt from 7 p.m. Ticket prices are $25 and groups of 10 pay only $20 each until the 16th of January 2016. The special performances include Kewama Edwards, Stacey Little, Jason Providence, Fenton Harry, Ecclesia Gospel Band, Ronnie Richardson, among many others. 
with that we take a short commercial break and when we come back we have more local news for you don't go anywhere and we will be right back <laughs> 